Okay, so we are studying classification of telecommunication networks. Now we completed first one area based classification. We are done with second one function based classification. And let us go to the third one ownership based classification. Third one is ownership based classification. Okay. So, in this particular ownership based classification, how many types we have? We have three types. First one is a public network. Second is a private network and third one is VPN. So what is VPN? Virtual private network. Okay. So how many types of ownership based classification we have? We have three types. First one is public network. Second is private network. Third one is virtual private network. Okay. Now what do you mean by public network? Public network is nothing but a simple concept where if a network is available for general users or all the users, it is called as a public network. So, what do you mean by public network? A network which is used by general users or general public. General public. It is called as an okay public network. Okay. Now, whether this, if you see this particular ownership based classification, whether these public networks are very costly? No, these networks are very cheap. These networks are very, very cheap. Now, who will maintain this particular public networks? These public networks are maintained by ISP. What is ISP? Okay, Internet Service Provider. Now, these particular persons, okay, will take certain money, okay, from a user for the purpose of providing the networks to the general public, okay. However, what is the problem with this particular public network? The problem with this particular public network is security. Okay, it cannot provide at most security. Okay, the security is very very less compared to a private network or compared to a virtual private network. The security you have to compromise. Okay, so ownership based classification. What is the first type of network? First type of network is a public network which is generally used by general people and which is a cheaper compared to a private network or a virtual private network okay so what is isp isp who will maintain this particular network these networks will be maintained by isp who is isp internet service provider now what is the problem with this particular public networks the problem with the public networks is security because it offers a very less security compared to a private network or a virtual private network okay so let us go to the second one private networks now who will use this particular private networks these private networks are only used by employees of an organization. That means if you take any of the organization network, that organization network, I can term it as a private network. Okay. So if you take a private network or an organization network, now who can use this particular organization network? These organization networks are used by only employees of the company. Now, if you see, if you compare the cost, okay, which is costly, whether public networks are costly or a private networks are costly, always private networks are costly. Always private networks are costly. Now, who will maintain these particular networks? Whether a third party will maintain these particular networks? No. An organization itself, organization itself will maintain the networks okay that is the reason these are costly networks okay so who will maintain these particular networks organization itself will maintain the network now what was the disadvantage in the public network the security problem okay because of because any per person can enter into that particular network and there is an issue with the security that is the reason okay if at all you want to transmit a very very uh, secured data okay at that time you cannot use a public network I have to use a private network okay so security it offers a greater security It offers a greater security. So this is about and private network. So we are done with a public network. We are done with a private network. 
Okay, so what do you mean by public network? Okay, you may, they may ask you a question. What is the difference between a public network and a private network? Okay, so what is the difference? Public network can be accessed by any person, whereas and private network can be accessed only by the employees of that particular organization. So which is costly? Uh, private networks are costly compared to a public network, which provides greater security. Private networks offer greater security compared to a public network. So this is how you have to differentiate. Now the last one is a virtual private network. So what do you mean by virtual private network? It is almost the similar concept of remote access. Okay, it is same as that of remote access. Okay, so what do you mean by remote access? Let us say we have an organization network. Let us say this is organization network. Now, can I call organization network as a private network? Yes. Okay, this is also called as a private network. Now, let us say I have few devices like server, PC, okay, etc. Now, what I will do, okay, let us say I stay at home, okay, I want to work from home, I want to work from home, okay, but I cannot lay a separate private network from my, uh, my home to office, I cannot lay, it becomes a very, very costly uh, network, okay. That is the reason, what do I do? I use a public network. Okay, so what do you mean by a public network? A public network, can I call it as internet? Yes, okay, internet is called as a public network. Okay, so what do I do? I use internet, okay, for the purpose of connecting into an organization network. So what do I do? I use inter. Okay, so I use internet. Okay, so what do I do? Using internet, I will connect into organization network. Okay, so what exactly it is? It is nothing but internet. Okay, so up to this, okay, it is the same. Okay, it is same as that of the remote access. If you see the remote access also, in remote access from a remote area using a public network that is internet, we can access all the resources that are there in the organization network this the concept is same as that of the remote access okay now what is the speciality of this particular virtual private network okay this virtual private networks provide a concept called as security okay because we are using a public networks public networks are not okay very secure okay however this virtual private networks provide a concept called as security how does it provide security? Okay, it uses a concept called as encryption and decryption. It uses a concept called as encryption and decryption. So, what do you mean by encryption? What do you mean by decryption? So, what do you mean by encryption? What do you mean by decryption? We have to understand. Okay, encryption is nothing but conversion of plain text into cipher text e i p h e r cipher text okay so what do you mean by conversion of a plain text into cipher text it is nothing but okay let us say I want to transmit hi. Okay. So if I directly transmit hi using a telecommunication network or using a public network, there is always a chance where a hacker can change this particular data from hi to by, and this by will be sent to an organization network. Okay. So how do you how do you remove this particular problem? Okay, so always there is a chance for a hacker. So what he will do? He will change this particular text at the time when it is transmitted to through a public network. So how do I eliminate this particular problem? Okay, so that is the reason I use a concept of encryption. What do you mean by encryption? Conversion of a plain text into cipher text. Okay. So what do you mean by conversion of a plain text into cipher text? Let us say I have hi. What do I do? I use plus 3. It will be converted into KL. Okay. So what is KL? A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K. Okay. Plus 3. H, I, J, K. Okay. 
ए बी सी डी एफ जी एच आई जे के एल सो एच आई इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू के एल तो वॉट इज हाई हाई इज कॉल्ड एज ए प्लेन टेक्स्ट एंड आई कन्वर्टेड दिस प्लेन टेक्स्ट इन टू साइफर टेक्स्ट ओके सो वॉट इज ए साइफर टेक्स्ट साइफर मीन सीक्रेट ओके और इज कॉल्ड एज एनक्रिप्टेड ओके सो वॉट आई डिड आई कन्वर्टेड ए प्लेन टेक्स्ट इन टू ए साइफर टेक्स ओके सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज एनक्रिप्शन ओके so what do you mean by decryption it's a reverse of it okay so once i receive kl at the receiving side what do i do i use minus 3 i convert this minus 3 back to hi okay so what exactly i am doing i am taking a cipher text and i am converting the cipher text into a plain text okay so that is called as decryption so what do you mean by decryption decryption is nothing but conversion of A plain text into a cipher. Uh, sorry, conversion of a cipher text back to plain text is called as decryption. Okay, if you see this particular, okay, uh, VPN. Okay, if you see this particular VPN, what is VPN? Virtual private network. Now, what do you mean by virtual private network? It is nothing but okay, a user, okay, or an employee can access the organization network using a public network. That is called as a virtual private network. now what is the main important concept of this particular virtual private network it offers security okay how does it offer security because we are using a public uh, network okay there is always okay to use a public network there is always a chance where a hacker can hack our data or modify our data okay so you have to protect your data how do you protect the data okay by way of encryption and decryption what do you mean by encryption conversion of a plain text into a cipher text is called as encryption what do you mean by decryption conversion of a cipher text back to plain text is called as decryption okay so it uses this particular technique for the purpose of transmitting the data from okay home to organization and organization to home so even a hacker sees the data during this particular transmission he cannot understand what exactly they are transmitting and he cannot modify the data okay so this is about ownership based classification so with this we are done with okay classification of telecommunication networks okay so networks are classified into how many types sir networks are classified into three types first one is called as an area based classification what is the second one second one is function based classification third one is ownership based classification ownership based classification is further divided into how many types sir uh, three types we have a public network private network and a virtual private network what is a public network this public network can be accessed by any user there will not uh, be any restriction on okay accessing these networks okay it is just like a uh, public park okay where anybody can enter into that public park okay the second one is called as a private network what do you mean by private network private network is nothing but these particular networks can be accessed only by certain people okay like organization network you have only employees of that particular organization can access this particular networks and uh, if you compare the security con security uh, parameter If you see public networks, it provides a lesser security. If you see private networks, it offers greater security. But if you see from the terms of cost, okay, uh, public networks are less costly compared to a private network. Okay, and if you see virtual private network, what do you mean by virtual private network? We have already studied. So with this, we have completed classification of telecommunication networks. Okay, now let us go to the next one. Okay.